Hello everybody and welcome back to more Mega Modded Enter the Gungeon. As you can see, we've got a brand new looking awesome, awesome intro screen there. God damn, that looks so cool. The Enter the Beyond logo and the Planet Side logo in harmony. Looking very spicy, very nicey. Anyways, we're going to make our way. We're going to quickly hop into the arcade real quick. By the way, for those people asking where this comes from, this is from... Ooh, new version. Got some new stuff coming out. Ooh, I like this. Um... Yeah, um, this is actually part of um, Expand the Gungeon, but it's not available to the public yet, so just be aware that you currently aren't available to get this. Two keys. Three keys. Okay, we can only get, th we can only get three at a time. That's fine by me. Still, three keys off the bat is like a free oobly-doobly. <laughs> oobly-doobly. But yeah, happy to be jumping back in some more Gungina. Happy to be playing some more Gungina. What do we start with? Oh, we got a, a bullet modifier here, whatever this is. Um, Far-sighted bullets. This new bullet type spontaneously generates generated one day when homing bullets lost at classes. Interesting. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like it's some sort of homing, doesn't it? Um, also, fires vials of tarnished liquid. Do not handle the vials without gloves or proper protective equipment. Okay, so I'm gonna guess this thing can damage us. Okay, it's a charge weapon. What? That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, it's, it's better homing by the looks of it. Okay, no, the liquid doesn't hurt us to stand on. Interesting, so it gives them a status effect. I'm not entirely sure what the status effect does. I'll be honest. I need to see if I can get an enemy to stand in that liquid once it's um, poureth over. But yeah, they get a little skull over their head. Um, and I think... Ooh, that was close. My... No. Okay. Is farsighted bullets giving us piercing or is that giving us piercing? I think that was giving us piercing, right? Let's take care of you guys real quick. I just want to check something. So if I hit you with this, I now pierce through you. Okay. Kind of interesting. I'm going to guess they take more damage as well, but I don't know that for sure. Intriguing, though. Very intriguing indeed. I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty good on bosses. By the way, I do apologize to you, you people watching if you can see some random, like, lag and hitches. That was fixed for a while, but it seems to be back in full force and doing its thing from time to time. It's a little unfortunate, definitely, but honestly, considering the mods that we get to play with, it's it's kind of okay. <laughs> I can deal with it, but yeah, yeah, it just happened right there. Can we get multiple in one go? Not by the looks of it, unless I did just miss. So it seems that the far-sighted bullets also wiggle a bit, so they're like kind of harder to hit. We also got stout bullets. I love stout bullets. Stout bullets are one of my favorite base game multiply uh, like damage multipliers and bullet modifiers. Uh, I will go. Yeah, I'll go to the oubliette this time around. I was gonna maybe go to the um, expand floor, but honestly, we haven't been to the oubliette in so long. I think we're due an oubliette run, and obviously we have the keys too because we got three off of the bat. So pretty happy with that. Let's just keep rolling along. Try and use stout bullets to the best of our abilities here as well. Oh, God, those hitches. Big sad. I don't know if it's like one particular mod that's like reintroduced those accidentally or if it's just a myriad of having all these new mods and new updates on. I don't know. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. But at the minute, I'm fine with it. I lived with it for quite a long time, so it's not super unfamiliar, to be honest. It kind of just is what it is, really. Taking you out, boys. Yeah, we are going to have to make our journey across the tables again. Oh, bloody hell. For some reason, I just was not expecting a mimic at all. And we get whatever the hell this thing is. The moon rock. Little orbiters. Causes small chunks of space debris to orbit around your shots. Round, 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 and 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 round. Okay, this is actually a pretty fun item, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there you go. I like this item a lot. 
we've got some interesting bullet modifiers working together already. Essentially, all three of our items thus far have been bullet modifiers. We didn't get a gun from this block, curiously enough. Which does mean we'll get one from the boss, though. Okay, this, with, with the piercing and the extra shots thing, seems really good. He does seem to be taking damage over time from this poison. I don't know if we need to, like, reapply it, but it seems to be pretty good. It might even be reducing boss armor. That, or, or Either that or I'm just doing a lot of damage. Either way, it seems really good. We get whatever this gun is. This is a, a slimy, slithery boy. Um, what we got here? Killithid's Tendril. This is from once more. Uh, tadpole of the Killithid species, capable of opening portals to its home dimension. While currently dormant, one day it will become uh, active and burrow its in inside the head of a sapient humanoid, eating their brain and turning them into a Killithid. Intriguing. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I like it. Let's uh, just kill this guy with a pistol because I'm having a really hard time getting to him, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to take an all stats up here. Well, what the hell? This 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 block here is really glitchy. You can get like stuck inside of it. What the? What the heck? We've also got another room down here, which is something. It's a gooper. Um, ooh, I kind of would love alkaline bullets, I'll be honest. I don't think there's any way we can get it right now, though. Right. Crack these both open. We'll head down. Good first floor, though. Very good first floor. I'm interested by this gun. I've also, an all stats up is just pretty fantastic. I do think the planet side stuff needs to be tweaked a little bit. I think it's really good. I think it's a very, very good addition to the game. But I think that sometimes it can offer a bit too much power. I realize you have to like flawless the floor to like get a good chance of getting them. By the way, stout bullets plus this is kind of incredible. Um, So it's like, it's not like a guarantee that you're gonna get it. So I, I do realize that. But I do think that, that, for one, the options available are quite strong for the most part. But also, there's not that many options available. Therefore, you get the strong ones fairly often. Like, I think, obviously it takes time and effort to do this. I'm not expecting it to be done overnight. But I think if you, like, doubled or tripled the amount of things on offer in those rooms, um, it would help with making some of the more stronger ones, like Chaotic Shift, not so powerful. Because, like, if I'd, have if I'd have taken Chaotic Shift there, that was, like, a game one. Like, I I, I do I'm kind of trying to... As, mu as fun as Chaotic Shift is, I'm kind of trying to stay away from it a little bit. Because it is just quite dominant. It, like, kind of takes over your whole run. I'm really liking the setup we've got going on here. Also, these are new enemies. I don't know when these guys were added, but they seem pretty cool. I'm guessing these are uh, planet-side enemies that were added recently. Grab the key. It shoots one from the tendril and one from the uh, one from the the summon portal. We don't actually need to create too many summon portals, to be honest. We can use like one or two ammo a room and be fine. I think with stout bullets plus the uh, the extra tiny bullets that are hovering around, works pretty well. I don't know why I just walked through all that, I'll be honest. Handgun. Is this a rocket launcher? I can never remember. Yes, it is. It's a very good rocket launcher as well. Weirdly, it's got like, the, the tip of the rocket flies further than the rocket itself for some strange reason. I don't know if that's because of our bullet modifiers. I'm assuming it is. Some weird incompatibility there. Well, this thing's strong. I mean, it, it is S tier, so I would expect it to be strong. Let's, uh, let's get this over with. Puncture wound that guy. I kind of like the way he looks when he's yellow also. I just failed to move for that attack completely.
This boss is generally just really hard anyways. Okay. Just keep a focus. We're doing fine. We have used quite a lot of ammo, but don't think it matters. We missed out on our flawless, but again, don't think it matters. See, we got the room anyways. It doesn't matter. I don't want to actually use it this time, though. Um, what does this thing do? What's this? The Diamond Cutter. Uh, fires piercing gemstones left at a chest by a powerful warrior and shimmering crystal who didn't show up to work today. Interesting. Kind of like the idea behind this. Seems very good. Seems very, very good. This might even be a S tier. Fake rainbow chest. You dastardly dog. You dastardly dog. Did I hear a mimic then? Yes, I did. God damn, this thing's very strong. We also got the infinity. Which is actually top tier with our bullet modifiers right now. At least we've got something for if we ever need ammo. Which, honestly, we've got quite a lot of ammo hungry or low ammo weapons and stuff. So I think that could end up being something we need. But this thing just shreds. This thing might be S tier. Like, it's one-shotting a lot of basic enemies here. Especially, I, I realize Stout Bullets is amplifying that damage, so it would be less normally. And then the uh, Moon Rocks are also amplifying it a little bit as well, but even still. I still think this could be at least A tier. Built-in piercing is always nice. Good, good. I think we'll pick up ammo for this, to be honest. Look at that. Beautiful. New enemy again there. Instantly dead, but yeah, new enemy. I think we cleared this floor out now. We are good to go. Right, take this thing along. Might use the infinity a little bit here and there as well. But so far, quite a powerful setup. Quite a powerful setup. I feel like it is just difficult in modding in general to create to create a situation where the game is balanced the same as vanilla. It's very, very difficult to do, especially when you're using multiple different mods that all have different sort of ideas and semblances of, of, of their own balance. This thing's very good. <laughs> I'm very much enjoying using it too. Just with the uh, the wiggly bullets. We got a chest there apparently. Can we get over to that? We can. Um, ooh, another bullet modifier. Corrupt bullets. God damn, we've literally only got bullet, modif bullet modifiers. Warped by a fraction reality, these bullets no longer adhere to the normal standard movement. I mean, they already our bullets already wiggle in weird ways. Oh my lord. It's just the same text over and over and over again. Fuck yes. <laughs> With the slight homing we have, this could work. I mean, it makes stout bullets a little worse, but... Also makes this thing an absolute pain to hit. Oh no, it doesn't. Surprisingly, it doesn't. Oh, God. Let's see how this thing works against enemies, shall we? Okay, this thing doesn't work too great, I'll be honest. I don't know. It's, it's doing things. It is doing things. This is a big-ass room. I kind of think I need to be firing that when I enter every room. There's a few shots of that, and then I met, and then I bugger off. I think the infinity is going to be our best friend with this setup. I'll be honest. 
because it's very hard to hit anything else. At least the infinity we can just fire everywhere until something hits. And it gets bonus fire rate too. Yeah, the infinity is definitely our best friend here. But yeah, I think we should be pairing it up with... How the hell does this thing work? We need to be pairing it up with this. So we come in here, we do that for a bit. God, I'm getting hit so much at the minute. If you watch this, we don't get hit. In challenge mode, that's fine. I accept thine challenge. Just zone control as well. That is fine, my lord. That is fine. Oh, what the hell? There's a new icon for this room. What, night? what the hell icon is that? I just mean it's complete. Excuse me. Oh, there you go. What do you give me? Another bullet modifier. What the hell's going on? Um, nullifying magic. Okay, this is just killing Gunjurus gun in one shot. This is crazy. So many bullet modifiers. Oh, Rooms like this, I hate. <laughs> Stop doing this, people. It's it's horrible. The copper sidearm. Oh. oh. That is so C. Also, may have broken the fracture, like may have fractured reality here with this. If this does damage, I'm down for it. Okay, it's gone. I mean, I kind of feel like I have to take magic bullets. I feel like I owe it to my bullet modifier only setup. I will also take the bullet for our bullet modifier only setup. Okay, that's wacky. That's wacky. I like it. Also, the seems to work very strangely with stout bullets, and I, I like that. Oh my god, those electric beams still work. Ugh. Why did I go down here? What was the point in this? No, the ice! That ice is really gonna screw me, isn't it? Okay, it's fading away, good. Okay, now this is the gun that we keep on the side. We got Gravity Well Module. I always forget what this does. Reduce knockback. It's another bullet modifier. What the hell's going on? There's something has something has bugged, I have to say. Something must have bugged here. Adding this to a gun increases the gravitational field of its bullets until... They have pulled strong enough to counteract the kinetic force. <laughs> okay, so we come in here. We pop this first. That didn't do anything. We then go like that, like that. I may have fired one too many times. Mm. What have I done? The lag. The lag. It's so cursed. The damage, though. Look, we got another one. <laughs> like, I got hit so many times this floor. Pig, we needed you so badly. Thank God you're here. I think maybe just giving you one of these 
pair run or two of them pair run would be better. <laughs> I'm just not taking them because they make they make you too strong. Um. Anyways, we're gonna keep moving. We have uh, discovered quite the setup here. Quite the setup indeed. It's a little bit saucy. And I like it. And I like it. Ooh, one moment, guys. One moment. There you go. Keep that open just in case. I love the way one electric beam is just like, bye. Also, magic bullets with this is pretty good. There are just a lot of things here working not the way they should be, and I love it. Electricity. Doot, doot, doot. <laughs> oh, god damn. I don't know what curse we're on right now, but it, not a lot, I don't think. That's very good. I think I'm going to take this. This isn't great, I'll be honest. But I kind of wanted the curse anyway, so I'm fine with it. Sorry, chicken. You got memed. Okay, every enemy in that room was already dead, somehow. It looked to be a combat room as well. Let's create a web. There you go. Damn you, bastard. I was trying not to use my pistol, but you made me do it. Yeah, I'm, basically, I'm suspecting one of two things. Either I've been incredibly lucky, or the chest that Cell made that makes it so that bullet modifiers appear. Excuse me, how did that get destroyed? Um, the... The chest that Cell made has broken in a fantastic way. I think the electricity went through the wall and destroyed my chest. There you go. I am the web of electricity. I am your demise. Beautiful. And we have Pig along for the ride too. Just to kind of be there. I love the way that the, the bullet, like, it, it just... It doesn't travel correctly at all. So we fire the gun. The gun just starts doing the loops, but then the bullets are already fired out of the gun. It's just like, none of this makes sense, but I love it. <laughs> See, I would like to take any of you, but you're not bullet modifiers, so I can't. I will trade in the dart rifle, as well as the... Honestly, the handgun, because it, it's... It's fantastic, but unusable with this current setup, so. Radgun. Quite, quite equally unusable. Very good, but... I doubt we're going to get much use out of it. Honestly, the, the, the copper sidearm plus the bullet is the way to go. Fire off three shots when we enter a room. Deal with the rest in due time. You might have a laser, but so do I, fella. So do I. I have to be careful about how much I fire this sidearm, because 
Things get real wacky real quick if I don't, if I'm not careful. Good, good. Right. Sorry, rat. I didn't mean to. This is just destruction on another level. Doubt I'm getting, as I said, doubt I'm getting a flawless here. But I did try. Boss fights are just so laggy. Who even knows what's going on anymore? I can't tell if I'm being hit or anything. Oh god, the game full on for us there. He died though. He did die. We got another one? This is just dumb. <laughs> They're so easy to get. Oh. All right then. What in the Lord is going on here? I still have that when I switch weapon. Ooh. <laughs> That's funky. The laser beam. I want to see how that works. I think that's going to be a saucy one for us. I think that's going to be quite the sauce pot. We come in here and we just go. It's a chicken of fire, apparently. Ow, I got stuck on a wall. It does a lot of damage. <laughs> kind of hard to use, but it does a lot of damage. Let's go back to the, the old faithful. We already have some glitched guns that are incredible. We don't need any more. God. I, w I am wondering if this would be as good as it is without the uh, the Farsight Bullets, the Herming. That's very good. That is very, very good. More curse, but we can now end some rooms instantly, which is real nice. No more bullet modifiers so far. I would like to see a few more. Sorry, chicken. Damn it. I'll hit again. I keep trying to use the electricity and it doesn't do all that much damage, to be honest. It's good, but it's like nowhere near as good as the, uh, the bullet is. The bullet transcends. I keep getting hit by stuff, and at this point, I have just have no idea what it is. Just walked right into a pit there. Don't even know what happened. I did it again! God damn, this darkness. I can't see anything. But it's, it's not that, really. It's that just I never know where my character is. No, there's a myriad of crap covering my screen. Good, good. Ah, oh, god damn it. it. See, I'm not that worried because we do have the pick, so. If we die, we die. It's kind of why I've not been trading away my heart containers. The more heart containers we have, the more valuable the pig is. Yeah, this thing's kind of useless.
How's this thing doing? Still interesting. The broken- the guns that are completely broken are a little more fun though. The ones that are just not working as intended whatsoever. I could buy some HP. And I won't lie, I'm tempted. Dude, now I'm very tempted. That was evil. Mirror of Truth. A first non-bullet modifier item, pretty much. I suppose... Yeah, I suppose a pig in the heart. I didn't, I didn't even think about those. Uh, replaces all chests with mirrors. That sounds risky, but I like it. Right. We're probably going to die in here. I have no idea what's going on right now. Dude, the wall bullets. Could you not with the wall bullets? Literally no goddamn idea what's going on right now. Absolutely no idea what's happening. Where are you? He's there. Okay. We lived just about. We got another one. Dude, these must be broken. What's going on with them? Oh, another bullet modifier. This this is going to be kind of crazy. Is this just slowing bullets? I think it is, yeah. Nice. Let's get gone. This has been true destruction. True destruction. And I love it. Yeah, it is slowing good. Not that it actually does any kind of slowing for these things, but there you go. Rooms like this are very frustrating. Just die already. Let me out of this hellhole. I got curse on me there for some reason. Oh, even happened. All of you are dead. Okay. Good, good. The burn room. Taken care of. Oh my god. Electricity will finish you all. In fact, no, this will finish you all. We got a random gun floating around us. That's not going to lead to ultimate chaos. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Damn it. Hello. The blooper, I'm sure this thing will be super useful. bad. I thought it'd be terrible. I thought they'd disperse so quickly. I'm trying to take advantage of it. It's pretty good. It's doing a not bad job. I have died. Do not worry though, for my piggy friend will save me. Poor pig. We need to go back to El Clasico. It's too good to let go of. 
We got a small boy, Gusty. Small friend to keep us company. Gusty, my boy. Trying to make our way to the chest. There you go. Don't fire missiles at me, please. Gusty, get him. Oh, it's this room. Isn't this the room with just like all the enemies in it? Oh, no, no, no. I think of the wrong one. Well, that mirror is already smashed, so. Something bad happened there. Explains why I'm having more cursed enemies, I guess. Let's go kill the mini boss and then we'll kill proper boss. Block, no. You just don't know, no. What on earth would this thing do? Not much. We have found out. It's not much. Right. So. I will try and use this thing to start. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we, we got the setup. We got the setup. Right. He is jammed, I think. I might die here. Just flew through complete and utter lack of sight. Yeah, I got hit twice already. Wait, I've got the wrong bloody gun out. That's why I'm not doing enough damage. I, I very possibly will die here. Like, as good as this run is, I cannot fucking see. I don't know how I dodged that. I'll be honest with you. Ah, oh, there you go. It's all come crashing down now, hasn't it? Okay. Let's see if I can get through this. I'm not convinced, I'll be honest. I know that this is only rolling, but if I get a single lag spike during this, which I feel like isn't completely implausible, I die. Or if I just misstep, which I am also known to do. Also, this didn't one shot him. It did, it did. Well, I'm going to end the episode here because my game is dying. It is truly, truly bleeding out right now, but that was a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> Breaking the game with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bullet modifiers, seven of which were in a row. <laughs> you never know what you might get when you play a bit of Gungeon. G -g -g Gungeon. Bop, 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 bop. We finish it off there. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that massacre of the game. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.